Hello everybody and welcome back to Traversing Food where today we're going to be checking out one of the newer Swedish rations that I had everybody vote on and the winner by two votes was the Menu 19 the uh, wet ration the other one was a dry ration or an arctic ration and I believe that was Menu 6 but yeah this one won by two votes and if you're wondering Dennis yeah I saw that you changed uh, your vote from uh, the dry pack to the wet pack and to answer your question, uh, no, I don't always wear pants either, uh, mainly on laundry day. But anyway, a little bit about this ration. Let's see here. It weighs 1,624 grams, it is 3,640 kcals, 113 grams of fat, 510 grams of carbohydrates, and 44 grams of fiber. It was packed on... February 26, 2021, and has a Best Buy date of April 3rd, 2023. And a little bit of change up on the packaging on the right hand side. Yeah, printed on here uh, measurements in centimeters. And what looks like just like one inch over here. And on the back, which I thought was kind of cool, got a selection from the 113 Murphy's Laws of Combat Operations. And I guess on different bags, there's going to be different sayings. But still, my favorite one right here. Never draw fire. It irritates everyone around you. But anyway, I believe the way uh, Out Meals is going to have the menu set up, there are going to be general purpose rations and the Arctic rations, which are dry or freeze-dried. But there's also going to be a set of vegetarian rations, gluten-free rations, and I believe dairy-free rations. Anyway, for now, let's get this baby opened up. Let's see how well this tears compared to the old ones. And it just about tears just as well. There we go. And it does have a Ziploc seal. And anyway, first thing out of here is a pack of tissue paper. We have a Ziploc bag and a very big, wow, this is uh, almost like the British size uh, sporks. And that's huge. Let me turn this over. One thing I'm glad about, we still got the Orpho drinks. We have an apple flavor. I guess maybe that was the only one. We have another isotonic drink. This one doesn't seem to be Orifo. This one's peach. We have a three-in-one coffee. A pack of field essentials. Small things that make a big difference when spending day after day in the field. I'll open up, up or I'll open that up in a little bit. Oh, what is this? We have a peanut butter Odie's. It feels like a like a peanut peanut butter cookie. Got sunflower seeds. That is 45 grams. How much was the Odie cookie? That was looks like 50 grams. Start moving this around a little bit. And we have an Orfo cheese biscuits. We've got a packet of nut cream. I like that stuff. Got a 50 gram salty cashew energy bar. Got a mint chocolate protein bar. Got a 25 gram chocolate bar. And it looks like we got a orange hard candy. We got a 45 gram pack of fruit pulp cubes. Um, sounds like it's uh, probably dehydrated fruit. And for some of our main meals, got a vanilla and banana oat porridge. A nice size 430 gram pouch of Mexican casserole with lentils and potatoes. And a 400 gram pouch of chicken masala with rice. 
And that is everything that was in the bag. And our little field essentials. Probably gonna be like our little salt and pepper and stuff like that. We've got three 70% ethanol disinfectant wipes. Three packs of Colombian freeze-dried coffee. A little pack of dental floss. And last but not least, three little packs of sweet mint chewing gum. Let me get that camera view there. And that is everything. There's a, there's a lot of new stuff here to check out. I do that, find that kind of interesting though. I got a three in one coffee, but I also have three instant coffees, but no sugar and no creamer. But that's okay, get everything worked out. But anyway, let me get my tray, let me get breakfast started. Okay everybody, here we are for breakfast. We're gonna have our oat porridge with vanilla and banana, our peanut butter oaties, gonna have some nut cream with that. And I'm going to have some sunflower seeds, but just not to have them by themselves. I'm going to put some in our porridge to have a little bit of texture. Got our 3-in-1 coffee, disinfectant wipe. But anyway, our 3-in-1 coffee, it's got a Ziploc seal, and it is gusseted. You can just mix it up. It calls for 200 to 250 milliliters of water just in the pouch. Also, as usual, really good. Simple ingredients, coffee, skim milk powder, sugar, that's it. It's the way it should be. Get this opened up. I'm going to pour it in a cup just so everybody can see what it looks like. But it looks like, uh, hmm, the, the coffee, I fear it'd be like instant coffee granules, but it looks like it's probably a fine powder. If it's a little weak, hey, got three more packs of instant coffee I could throw in there. And the oat porridge, it calls for just 200 to 250 milliliters of water. I'm gonna put in 225, said cold or warm. Since this is oat porridge, I'm gonna use warm water. Also, really simple ingredients. You get instant oat flakes, skim milk powder, sugar, banana chips, and flavoring which is vanilla and salt that's it really simple another thing i like about them the ziploc seal is also sealed so when you open this up <laughs> if it, i could open it up in one tear you're not going to have powder flying everywhere because it's basically double sealed it looks like we got some big chunks of uh, Banana chips, I'm guessing those are banana chips. I don't see a desiccant pack. I kind of didn't think there'd be one in there. 225 milliliters of warm water. Give that a mix. Since it says, well, it didn't say on how long to let it rest, but since it said it was instant, I'm going to assume it's instant. Try and get on. Try not to press too hard because I don't want to put a hole in the bag. And throw some sunflower seeds in there. Vacuum seal really nice. Let's see how these taste first. And yeah, just your standard sunflower seeds. They're they're unsalted. I'm pouring about half. Give that another mix. If anybody that knows me, I like uh, sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. In my porridge or muesli, give it some nice texture. I'm gonna seal this back up. Set it aside. Some hot water for our three in one.
my cup was totally full, it'd be about 250 milliliters of water. And this just calls for 200 to uh, 250. So that's about 225. All right. Actually, before I forget, check out our disinfectant wipe. 70% ethanol. If I remember right, these are usually dripping wet. And yeah, they are. It's uh, dripping off the pad onto the, <laughs> onto the tray. So I usually start off doing them over the sink. But I always do like these. You know, they're unscented. They dry quick. I really like them. And we'll open up our peanut butter Odie's. I can't remember if these are like peanut butter sandwiches or just, you know, just like biscuits. Move that out of the way. But anyway, yeah, let's check one of these out real quick. Nice and crispy. I can smell the peanuts from here. Yeah, these have a really nice peanut flavor or peanut butter flavor. You can see a chunk of peanut in there. They're, they're a little bit dry and crumbly, but they have really good flavor. But I'm going to put on some of our nut cream, which is, I guess you can say, maybe kind of like Nutella. Yeah, it's got a chocolate nut flavor, not real heavy of a hazelnut flavor like Nutella. But it's still good. And yeah, this goes really well with those peanut cookies. Both of them are nice and sweet. They are really good flavor though. But give our 3-in-1 coffee a quick mix. Still seeing how light it is. I think coffee flavor might be a little weak. And honestly, yeah, it is kind of weak. Even if I would have used just 200 milliliters of water instead of closer to 250. It, it's just not that it's weak. I mean, the sweetness is okay. Just the coffee flavor is weak. So, I'll take care of that. I'm sure that'll help out quite a bit. Oh yeah, that helps out quite a bit. If anybody gets this 3-in-1 coffee, definitely pour a pack of coffee or instant coffee in there. You can probably pour in two. It tastes a lot better. Okay, check out our oat porridge. Vanilla and banana. Seem to have uh, thickened up a little bit after it sat a while. But I seriously don't think that everything is going to fit in one compartment. Eh, maybe. Um, no. <laughs> it's not all going to fit in one compartment. Alright. I did want to get everything out of there just to show you how much food's in there. Definitely, definitely better take a spoonful out of there just in case it starts to run over. But definitely quite a big breakfast. And yeah, this is really good. It's not overly sweet. The banana chips are still crispy. You can definitely tell there's sunflower seeds in there. You can't taste too much of the vanilla, but it almost tastes like there's cinnamon in there. Even though it's not listed, it has a really good flavor. And yeah, that's excellent. But that's going to do it for breakfast. And I'm definitely going to finish everything here. Peanut butter cookies are great, especially with the nut cream. Even though the 3-in-1 coffee was weak, like I said, glad it came with 
extra packs of instant coffee help it out but other than that like i said going to finish everything here hope you're enjoying everything so far and i'll see you at lunch okay here we are for lunch for our main we're going to have our mexican casserole with lentils and potatoes i'm going to have our package of cheese biscuits since i figured those crumbled up might go well with the main got a chocolate bar a salty cashew energy bar for a drink going to have our isotonic peach drink and we're going to have one of our little orange hard candies but let's check out this peach drink it just uh it calls for 500 milliliters of water and the bag is ziplocked or has a ziploc seal and it's gusseted so you can just pour the water in the bag and just mix it up right there but so everybody can see what it looks like i will be using a glass It smells like peach just your typical powder but anyway get our main in some hot water and get our drink ready okay main is almost ready or about almost heated up get our cheese biscuits out now some of it kind of broke up that's okay and our chocolate bar is this uh, it doesn't say the percentage I can't remember I think it's probably around 60 or 70 percent and our salty cashew energy bar actually looks pretty good it smells nice too Okay, let's start off with these cheese biscuits. And I've had these before. They uh, got an interesting flavor, you know. You can taste the oats, but the, the cheese flavor is kind of, well, I don't know, tangy. It's, uh, they're pretty nice. Got a good crunch to them. They're, uh, they're not sweet. They're not really salty. Overall, they're pretty good. And we'll check out our cashew bar. You see the oat flakes in there. It's got raisins, cashews. I think it's got some hazelnuts in there too. And that's really good. You can taste the cashews in there. It almost has a honey-like sweetness to it. Nice and chewy. Really good. You can taste the raisins too. But let's give our drink a try. I know, I know it's orange, but it says peach on the bag, and it does smell like peach. Let's give it a try. And it's okay, I guess. And the peach's flavor is kind of artificial tasting. And it tastes more sweet than actual, you know, like peaches. But I think the, the odd thing about it, it kind of leaves a, like a weird film taste or something like that on the roof of your mouth. It's okay, I guess. And we got our main. How much is this? 550 calories. Well, 430 grams. Plenty of food. Get this open up. It smells nice. It smells really good. Let's see. I better do it this way. I don't know if it'll get everything out of the bag or not. That's a lot of food. Just one big mound. <laughs> and it is hot. See if I can get the rest out of here really quick. There we go. That is definitely a big pile of food. You can easily smell and see the corn, the peppers. The, the lentils are in there. You can see them. Easily potatoes. Which potatoes? Yeah, there's some good pieces of potatoes in there. Nice and thick. Looks like I got some carrots in there too check this out really quick and that's a really good flavor you can definitely tell there's coriander in there it has a nice tomato based flavor to it I'm gonna throw some of these 
break up some of these cheese biscuits in there and see what it tastes like. Add a little bit of a texture. Yeah, that adds a nice little crunch to it. A little bit of a cheese flavor. We'll check out our chocolate bar. Nice dark chocolate. Yeah, I've always enjoyed the Orifo chocolate. It's probably about 70%. A little bit bitter, a little bit sweet. Really good. Check out our little hard candy. I'm guessing it's orange. I've got a picture of an orange on there. And that candy is actually pretty good. You know, it's kind of an artificial orange flavor. What's really nice, it's got a very chewy center, and I almost thought it was gum, but it's really good. But anyway, that's going to do for lunch. Everything here is great, especially this main. Kind of wish it had a little bit of heat to it, maybe some hot sauce. It's not spicy at all, but it just has really good flavor. Very enjoyable. Energy bar is good. Love the cheese crackers or cheese biscuits. I always enjoy the chocolate bars from Orifo, but this drink, hmm, I don't know. It's okay. I mean, I drink it, but I, I just wish it was another Orifo drink. But other than that, everything's okay. But until then, I'll see you at dinner. Okay, here's our dinner. Got our chicken masala with rice, our mint chocolate protein bar, our fruit pulp cubes, and an apple drink. And hide under here. Go and check out our sweet mint gum. But anyway, get our main and some hot water. And this Orco drink just calls for 250 milliliters of water instead of 500. I don't know why I got the big glass. That one will be just fine. Get our powder and our glass. And I'll get some water for a drink and get it ready. Okay, drink's ready. Get our mint chocolate protein bar out. Let's see what it looks like. Definitely smell the mint chocolate. It smells good. And our fruit pulp cubes. And let's see here, what kind of fruit is in there? Um, it's where it says sugar, glucose, fruit pulp, water, stabilizer, citric acid, uh, sodium citrate, flavoring, which is orange, uh, lemon, lime, and I'm not sure what that is. N-A-A-R-T-J-I-E. Never heard of that one. Coloring, cornstarch, and icing sugar. <laughs> I'm really interested to see what this looks like. Okay, that just looks like dried fruit. I kind of wish it was, you know, actual dried fruit instead of something, you know, I guess kind of artificial. But, let's check out. Protein bar. And yeah, that's actually pretty good. Got a decent mint chocolate flavor to it. I guess it's your standard, you know, dense protein bar. Not too sweet. Great flavor, though. Okay, and our fruit pulp, the, the, the one that I couldn't say or barely spelled, it's, uh, it's kind of like an orange. Let's see how these taste. And these are actually not too bad. You know, everything tastes like it should. The lemon and lime have a nice citrusy tartness to it. Pretty decent. They're kind of sweet, kind of tart doesn't have too much of an artificial flavor to it. Pretty good. And let's give our drink a mix. The, the apple always seems to have like, I don't know, a pulp in it also. It always looks cloudy and you always have a film that floats back up to the top. And the apple flavor is not too bad. A little bit kind of artificial tasting. Apple, the Orpho apple flavor has never been my favorite, but it's still not bad. A little bit sweet. It's not really tart. It's okay. It's a lot better than that peach drink, that's for sure. All right, our main chicken masala with rice. I've been waiting to try this. I make chicken tikka masala 
at home all the time. I always love that garam marsala spice seasoning. It smells really good. How much is this? This is 400 grams. Just one big slab. There we go. Okay, and if anybody was wondering, this is 520 calories. And nice, decent sized pieces of chicken. Got red bell pepper. The garam masala seasoning, man, it smells really good. You can smell the coconut in there. But I'm gonna check out a piece of chicken first, and thankfully it looks like they use dark meat. And thankfully they did. I, I just, my the Indian dishes, I like it when they use dark meat like they're supposed to, because the white meat, the chicken breast, just dries out too quick. But the chicken in this is really tender, very flavorful. The seasoning has gone all the way through the chicken. Nice and moist. You can taste the bell pepper. The rice, it's not mushy, but it's a little bit soft. It's okay though. It has that good coriander flavor to it. I'm getting our piece of chicken. See how much is in there. And you get, it's like a lot of the chicken was in towards the bottom. But yeah, definitely <laughs> a lot of chicken in this dish. This is really good. And it's not hot spicy, but it does have a lot of spices in it. Very flavorful. And go and check out our sweet mint gum. And that gum is uh, actually pretty good. Got a nice balance of sweet and mint flavor. Doesn't really get hard, but the flavor starts going away in about 10 minutes, which is pretty good for a gum that comes in a ration. But anyway, that's going to do it for this review of the Swedish 24-hour combat ration, menu number 19. I think everything in it was really good. It seemed a little odd. You got a three-in-one coffee, and then you got three more instant coffees, and just, you know, no sugar or creamer. But the three-in-one coffee definitely was pretty weak on the coffee flavor. So I'm glad they included them. Kind of wish maybe it had a jam in here or a pate. But other than that, everything was great, especially this chicken masala. It is, it is very good. Quite enjoyable. I think the only real bummer in here was the peach drink I had at lunch. It just, it was just really odd. But anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe. I'll see you next time.